biggest passenger plane in the world, the Airbus A380, has generated a lot of attention and conversation in the aviation sector. There have been recent advancements that have drawn interest from both industry experts and aviation fans. This thorough analysis explores the most recent developments, features, and possible future of the Airbus A380, with a special emphasis on the idea of an A380 Neo new engine option. Number six, overview of the Airbus A380. In what ways does the Airbus A380 reinvent efficiency and elegance in contemporary air travel? Airbus designed the four-engine, double-deck, wide-body jet aircrafts known as the A380. It is praised for its comfort, capacity, and innovations in technology. Up to 544 people in a three-class configuration may fit in the roomy cabin thanks to the aircraft's design. Its remarkable measurements are 79.1 feet in height, 238.5 feet in length, and 261.8 feet in wingspan. Number five, current events and conversations. Could the Airbus A380 return with modern technology to satisfy the needs of airlines today? The president of Emirates Airlines, Tim Clark, made a significant request in January 2025 for Airbus to think about bringing back the manufacture of the Airbus A380, which has long been considered the biggest and most recognizable commercial airplane in the world. A refurbished A380 would appeal to a new generation of airlines, Clark, a strong supporter of the aircraft, who are concentrating on increasing fleet efficiency and meeting the rising demand for high-capacity aircraft on important international routes. With 118 aircraft in its inventory, Emirates is the biggest A380 operator and has come to represent the success of the Super Jumbo. To handle long haul trips, especially to and from busy hubs like Dubai, International Airport, one of the busiest airports in the world for international passenger traffic, the airline has mostly depended on the A380. By effectively transporting a lot of people on a single trip, the A380 has proved to be an essential tool for Emirates reducing traffic at these congested airports. According to Clark, there may still be a market for a redesigned A380, especially from airlines that operate in areas with large passenger volumes where capacity is essential. In order to overcome the aircraft's historical shortcomings, notably with regard to fuel economy and operational expenses, Clark's plan for a rejuvenated A380 centers on implementing state-of-the-art technology innovations. To lower the total weight of the airplane, the redesigned A380 would probably use next-generation materials such as advanced composites. In line with mounting environmental and regulatory constraints on the aviation sector, this might result in a more fuel-efficient aircraft that would assist operators in lowering carbon emissions. Clark also recommended using Rolls-Royce's ultrafan engine technology, a new generation of turbofan engines that can increase fuel economy by up to 25%. With these improvements, the A380 may become more economically and ecologically feasible for airlines trying to maximize their fleets. The A380 confronts major challenges to a possible rebirth, despite its benefits, which include roomier cabins, quieter engines, and a smoother ride. The industry's increasing preference for smaller, more fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft, such as the Airbus A350 and Boeing 787, led Airbus to end A380 manufacturing in 2021 due to a lack of new orders. These approaches are more appealing to airlines navigating the post-pandemic environment because they provide more flexibility and reduce operating expenses. Although Clark's idea for a modified A380 is appealing, a major obstacle is the reluctance of many airline executives to make such a substantial financial commitment to an aircraft that would have unpredictable long-term demand. The idea of subscribing to big four-engine aircraft may seem less alluring as airlines place more emphasis on lowering fleet complexity and operating expenses. Furthermore, Airbus has not yet made a public statement about the prospect of resuming A380 manufacturing, and many experts think the business would be better off focusing its efforts on its more well-liked, fuel-efficient aircraft. Number 4. Airbus A380 Technical Specifications what distinguishes the technical requirements of the Airbus A380 in the commercial aviation industry? 
The Airbus A380 is more than simply an engineering wonder. It is a representation of what can be achieved when cutting-edge design and technology are brought together. The A380 is the biggest commercial airliner in the world, and its size and scope distinguish it from all other aircraft now in use. The A380 is a massive aircraft with dimensions of 238 feet, 7 inches, 72.7 meters in length, 261 feet, 8 inches, 79.8 meters in wingspan, and 79 feet, 1 inch, 24.1 meters in height. These massive proportions are not only for show, they are essential to the aircraft's capacity to transport a lot of people and goods over long distances, which makes it the ideal choice for long-haul, high-demand routes. One of the most distinctive features of the A380 is its passenger capacity. It can accommodate up to 544 people in a standard three-class layout, which leaves room for opulent first-class suites, business-class cabins, and a large economy sitting area. Because it can replace many smaller aircraft, the A380's capacity makes it perfect for routes with high demand and traffic, giving carriers efficiency and cost-effectiveness. The aircraft's capacity advantage is further highlighted by the fact that it can accommodate up to 850 people in all economy configuration. The A380's sophisticated technology and design, which guarantees seamless and effective operation, are highlighted by the fact that, despite its enormous size, it is only piloted by two pilots. The A380 can do amazing things in terms of performance. It can carry a lot of freight in addition to passengers because of its maximum takeoff weight, MTOW, which is 1,268,000 pounds, 560,000 kilograms. Because of its 8,200 nautical mile, 15,200 kilometer maximum range, it is ideal for ultra long haul travel. The A380 guarantees quick, effective, and pleasant travel with a cruising speed of max 0.85 and a service ceiling of 43,100 feet, 13,106 meters. The A380's reputation as the industry standard for commercial aviation is cemented by its ability to accomplish these amazing feats while providing passengers with an unparalleled degree of comfort thanks to its Rolls-Royce Trent 900 or Engine Alliance GP 7200 turbofan engines. Number three, the A380 NEO's concept. Was the need for increased efficiency in the aviation sector met by the Airbus A380 new engine option? An ambitious plan to improve the already legendary A380 Super Jumbo's efficiency and competitiveness in a fast-changing aviation industry was the Airbus A380 NEO. Around 2015, the idea came about as a result of Airbus's realization that airlines were under more and more pressure to save expenses, cut emissions, and comply with environmental standards. The desire for aircraft that could operate with higher fuel economy while still providing substantial capacity on long-haul routes was increasing at the time, and airlines were dealing with rising fuel costs. The proposed re-engining of the A380neo was one of its main features. Originally powered by the Rolls-Royce Trent 900 and Engine Alliance GP7200 turbofan engines, the A380 would have been equipped with next-generation engines, perhaps even more sophisticated Raleigh-Royce Trent engines that are particularly built to provide substantial fuel savings. By moving more air without necessarily using more fuel, these engines would provide a better bypass ratio, which translates into increased fuel economy. This would thereby lower the aircraft's fuel and carbon emissions, two important factors for airlines trying to reach sustainability goals. To further cut drag, the A380neo was meant to have a number of aerodynamic enhancements in addition to its engines. The wings would have been altered to contain new wingtip devices, or perhaps winglets, which are intended to lessen vortex drag brought on by the pressure difference between the wing's top and lower surfaces. Enhancing the aircraft's overall aerodynamic performance was intended to lower fuel consumption and boost overall efficiency. Other small adjustments, such improved fuselage and landing gear designs, would have also been made to the aircraft to enhance aerodynamics. Despite its potential, the A380neo idea was fraught with difficulties. The absence of significant demand for extremely big airplanes was the main barrier. In order to accommodate a broad range of long-haul routes without the enormous capacity of the A380, 
The aviation industry was moving towards smaller, more fuel-efficient twin-engine planes like the Airbus A350 and Boeing 787. Flexibility was becoming more and more important to airlines, and many of them tried to avoid the operational challenges of flying such big planes. Furthermore, it would have cost a lot of money to design a new engine and make the requisite aircraft changes, and Airbus had trouble obtaining enough orders to support the construction of the A380neo. A380neo, the super jumbo development eventually came to an end when Airbus said it would not pursue the A380neo. A number of reasons led to this decision, including the expensive cost of creating the A380neo, the development of smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft, and the dwindling demand for the A380. Because of this, the A380neo is still a fascinating idea that was eventually abandoned in favor of more practical aviation industry alternatives. Even with the A380neo's cancellation, the A380 is still a famous aircraft that several carriers still fly on a few routes. However, as the aviation industry shifts to more modern, economical planes, the A380's future is still up in the air. Number two, possible modernization and upgrades. Which major technology advancements have the potential to increase the Airbus A380's cost-effectiveness and sustainability? Even though Airbus A380 manufacturing was stopped in 2021, there is still a lot of interest in the aircraft, particularly among Emirates Airlines, the biggest super jumbo operator in the world. Emirates President Tim Clark has been a strong supporter of bringing the A380 back to life with the A380neo, an updated variant. In order to address concerns about fuel consumption and environmental effect, Clark's idea for the aircraft centers on integrating next-generation technology, namely in the form of more efficient engines. In particular, Clark has proposed that engines like Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan might be crucial in greatly increasing the fuel economy of the A380. Clark claims that these cutting-edge engines have the capacity to cut pollutants and fuel consumption by up to 25%, bringing the aircraft much closer to the aviation industry's increasing focus on sustainability. The goal to enhance the overall operating performance of the aircraft is another factor driving the drive for an A380neo. The A380neo would be able to more effectively compete with the smaller, more recent twin-engine aircraft that now dominate the market, such as the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, by using new materials like lighter composites and improving its aerodynamics. Because of their increased fuel economy and reduced operational expenses, these aircraft have become more appealing to carriers. The A380neo can be seen as a desirable choice for airlines that want a high-capacity aircraft without compromising on environmental or financial performance, given the growing emphasis on fuel efficiency and lowering carbon footprints. The A380 is still a desirable choice for airlines operating high-density flights between important international hubs, in addition to its advantages in fuel economy. The airplane is a great option for long-haul trips because of its outstanding passenger capacity and opulent facilities. Because capacity is limited at some of the busiest airports, Emirates in particular, depends on the A380. Emirates would be able to retain its competitive advantage in these areas and enhance its environmental credentials with the redesigned A380neo. The project's future is questionable, however, since Airbus has not yet made a public commitment to constructing the A380neo, despite Clark's outspoken backing. Due to the substantial operational and financial obstacles associated with redesigning an aircraft that has already seen a drop in demand, the firm has declined to comment on the viability of such an undertaking. Airbus is taking a risk with the A380neo because of the expensive expense of re-engineering the A380 and the tiny market for ultra-large aircraft. Furthermore, it's unclear whether the A380neo will be able to generate enough orders to warrant such an expenditure, given the airline industry's growing trend towards smaller, more efficient aircraft. Despite receiving backing from industry insiders like Tim Clark, the A380neo is still just a concept that has not yet become a reality. Number one, airline perspectives and market dynamics. Why have airlines switched to smaller, fuel-efficient planes instead of the Airbus A380? Growing environmental concerns and the need to save operating expenses have caused the aviation sector to concentrate more on sustainability 
and operational efficiency in recent years. The deployment of more fuel-efficient aircraft is becoming a top priority for airlines as the global aviation industry strives to fulfill higher carbon emissions restrictions and reduce its environmental imprint. In this regard, the Airbus A380, which was previously hailed as revolutionary because of its unparalleled size and passenger capacity, is now at a turning point. The A380's four-engine design and massive size make it less fuel-efficient than more recent, sleek twin-engine aircraft like the Airbus A350 and Boeing 787. Despite its remarkable capacity to carry up to 850 passengers in all economy configuration and its potential to reduce congestion at airports with high demand. Even while the A380's four engines are useful for long-haul travel and carrying large cargo, they are fundamentally less efficient than the more recent twin-engine models. Because twin-engine aircraft are lighter, have fewer parts, and need less maintenance, they may eventually use less fuel and have lower operating costs. Modern twin-engine aircraft engines, like the Genex engine on the Boeing 787 or the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB, also provide lower emissions and more fuel economy. One of the main causes of the current preference for the A350 and 787 by many airlines is this move toward twin-engine aircraft. There is increasing interest in figuring out how to make the A380 more competitive in this shifting market as airlines continue to place a higher priority on fuel economy and a smaller environmental effect. One possible remedy is the idea of an A380neo, which would include next-generation engines like the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan and other aerodynamic improvements. By lowering fuel consumption and emissions by up to 25%, these upgrades might bring the A380 closer to contemporary sustainability targets. Concerns about running expenses and the environment would be addressed by increasing fuel economy via the use of lighter materials and design modifications to enhance aerodynamics. Future airline purchase choices may be influenced by the A380 news capacity to satisfy these requirements. The A380neo may be a desirable alternative for airlines looking to satisfy environmental goals while maintaining capacity, especially on routes where there is a strong passenger demand. Yet big aircraft are needed due to airport congestion. Airbus may provide a competitive substitute for smaller twin engine aircraft by updating the A380 and improving its fuel economy, enabling the A380 to maintain its position as a mainstay for long haul, high capacity flights in the future. The initiative's success, however, will rely on how economically the required technology developments can be applied without sacrificing the aircraft's overall functionality and attractiveness. In conclusion, because of its size, capacity, and passenger comfort, the Airbus A380 is still a major aircraft in the aviation sector. The continuous interest in updating the aircraft to satisfy present market needs is shown by recent talks over a possible A380neo. Although no formal plans have been revealed, airlines and industry experts are nonetheless interested in the idea of a redesigned A380. A 380's future will be influenced by a number of variables, including market demand, environmental concerns, and technical developments. Like, share, and subscribe for more awesome content. Hit the notification bell and join our community. Your support means the world. Thanks for watching.